Well, speaking of allergies, we're only about two weeks out from spring, but with that really nice weather, yeah, comes allergies for a lot of us here in East Texas. And for some reason, it seems like we get hit harder and for longer in East Texas than in other parts of the country. Now, normally we just chalk up feeling crummy to allergy season, but not this year, not with coronavirus still around. The Morning Loop's Dana Huey talks to a doctor to clear up the differences. Soon the azaleas and the roses will be blooming again and the trees will be turning green. Spring in East Texas, just so pretty, <laughs> yet so miserable be, for many of us. I think they can be worse in East Texas. Dr. Brad Robertson sees it all at Tyler Complete Care, a freestanding emergency room in East Texas. They've also seen their fair share of coronavirus and they test for it. And we're open 24 hours a day, prepared to see whatever comes in. Um, but COVID definitely was a, the biggest spike in our volumes, um, certainly December, January, for sure. But how do you know it's COVID when the symptoms are so similar, not just to allergies, but the flu and other viruses circulating in the community? One of the problems with COVID, it can present in so many different ways. Most people historically, if they have the flu, they kind of know they have the flu when they get here, high fever and aching and, uh, and the respiratory symptoms. Uh, that COVID can present like that, but can also present with gastrointestinal symptoms or just loss of taste and smell or just a little congestion. And so it can be kind of hard to hard to know sometimes if it is allergies or an upper respiratory infection or, or COVID. According to the CDC, some of the symptoms overlap. A cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, headache, sore throat, and congestion or a runny nose. But some symptoms do not overlap. With allergies, you shouldn't run a fever. You may feel a little bit lousy just from the allergies themselves and your body's immune response. But usually with COVID, you have a little more flu-like symptoms, some body aches, fever. Uh, again, not 100% by any means, but uh, I think loss of taste and smell has been a high, uh, has been a symptom that's correlated highly with COVID as opposed to allergies. Usually is more runny nose, upper respiratory, puffy eyes, itching eyes. Stomach issues are also more common with COVID. So when should you go see the doctor to find out if you're suffering from allergies or possibly COVID? I think that's always the safest thing is to know because, you know, most people are going to do fine with COVID uh, and get over it and recover. The problem is if you have it, are you spreading it to other people that are more vulnerable? And if it does turn out to be coronavirus, Dr. Robertson says you need to monitor your symptoms. <laughs> If you're getting short of breath, feeling like you're not getting enough air, especially at rest, but even with exertion, if you're up moving around, feel like I'm not breathing uh, right, that's an absolute sign you need to be evaluated. We've got you covered East Texas. Dana Huey, CBS 19. Now, if it turns out to be allergies, Dr. Robertson with Tyler Complete Care suggests starting with over-the-counter antihistamines and inhaled nasal steroids. If that doesn't work, there are prescription medications for allergies doctors can prescribe.